This is San Diego News Daily, sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marianne Cushy. It is finally here. Game one of the National League Championship Series between the Padres, yeah, and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's going to be happening right there. The excitement has been building ever since Saturday when the Padres put the Dodgers to bed in game four of the NLCS. The Friar Faithful will pack Petco Park for the first two games of this best of seven series. The Padres will be back right here in San Diego on Monday, the 24th. That's if they can't get the job done in Philly. Earlier this morning, Sky Ranger 7 was overhead as the field was getting prepped for its close ups. Nearby bars and restaurants have been stocking up on food and drinks and other necessities, and fans have been making their predictions. Listen. I'm not one for predictions. But I think well, uh, I think it'll be split 1 1 here in San Diego and then we're going to have to take one in Philly and then bring it back home. I would say four. You're going to sweep them. I hope so. Well, a sweep would be awesome, wouldn't it? But we'll take it one game at a time starting today. And ahead of tonight's game, fans are taking absolute delight in the new Padres murals that have gone up. This is video of some of the existing ones. The group behind it all, that being ground floor murals, says that they all represent Padres fans' hopes for the week to come. Here's NBC7's Joe Little with a look at the latest ones. There are a lot of new murals around San Diego County celebrating our San Diego Padres. This is one of the most recent ones. Joe Musgrove celebrating his victory in New York. It's top of the mural says it's our time and it might be our time. We've had a lot of these murals show up around San Diego with there's a Joe Musgrove next to Grossmont High School. There's a Manny Machado down in Chula Vista. The new goose mascot is right next to the Manny Machado one. There's a U Darvish and, and Kearney Mesa. There's also a new mural right down the street that's ruffling some feathers. This mural went up just yesterday. It's the San Diego chicken stepping on the Philly Fanatics head. It's kind of the first mural that celebrates something that hasn't happened yet. We find out how it goes beginning tonight in the NLCS and in a few days, we'll see how it goes. In the East Village, Joe Little, NBC7. And for everything Padres, NBC7 Sports Wrap team is tracking them all postseason long in our Friar on Friar podcast. There's a new episode previewing the NLCS that dropped just yesterday. Audio and video versions are available on NBC7.com and wherever you get your podcasts. We've got some other news to tell you about right now. The average price of a gallon of self-serve regular gas here in San Diego County recorded its largest decrease since at least 2018, that's happening today, dropping 7.2 cents overnight to $5.98. Yeah, we're below six bucks now for the first time since September 27th. The average price dropping 13 consecutive days since rising to a record, decreasing 45 cents in nearly two weeks. The decreases follow a run of 32 increases in 32 days, totaling $1.21. Last night, two local singers battled to keep their spots on The Voice, but only one remains in the competition now and will continue on to the next round. San Diego School of Creative and Performing Arts alum Destiny Lay is headed to the knockouts after being saved by her coach, Gwen Stefani. The battle rounds continue tonight on The Voice at 8 o'clock Pacific time right here on NBC7. Now here's meteorologist Sheena Parveen with a look at your first alert forecast. Hey Marianne, we have a pretty important game later today. Padres 503 first pitch playing the Phillies. It's going to be warmer today than yesterday by about 10 degrees. So we have some baseball weather in the forecast. So by first pitch low 80s throughout the game, clear skies will be dropping to the mid 70s. Sunset is at 611, so we're not going to have much daylight going on uh, shortly after first pitch. We'll be seeing the sun going down. For the Inla Valley, today will be around 90 degrees. Tomorrow's going to be the hottest day of the week, and then we cool down as we head into the weekend, Marion. Thanks, Sheena. Hundreds of local high school students are out of sick, are out sick, I should say, with flu-like symptoms. We'll have the very latest on what school officials are doing to get the outbreak under control. And Palomar College will soon be playing games at its very own stadium. The details on today's groundbreaking in San Marcos. That's coming up when we come back. Cox plans are flexible, and it's really quite clever. Add TV, phone, or home automation, whenever. 
Get Cox Internet for the everyday low price of $49.99. This is San Diego News Daily, sponsored by Cox, bringing us closer. And we're back, so let's get right back into your local stories. As flu season ramps up, local school districts and the County Department of Health, they're discussing flu outbreaks at some schools. Last week, Del Norte High School told us that they had 400 students out sick with flu-like symptoms. It was a similar situation at Patrick Henry High School, where a number of students there were also out sick. The county says that they do not have any updated flu numbers for us just yet, but the number of cases now is not like the major outbreak that we saw last week. Since last week, there has not been a single table that was like had more than four students in it. I feel like some students have uh, come back, but some students have also gone absent. So it's been around like the same average compared to last week. County health officials say only 11% of San Diegans are vaccinated against the flu so far this season. One doctor says because the number of flu cases is rising, we should continue using COVID era safety protocols and get the flu vaccine to help reduce the spread of the virus. Also today, San Diegans are getting the chance to ask county leaders questions in a town hall about a controversial program placing sexually violent predators in their neighborhoods. The state's conditional release program has faced a lot of backlash in recent years from neighbors who say they don't want predators living in their communities. Some local leaders have called for more transparency in how homes are selected and how the program is run. Just two weeks ago, County Supervisor Jim Desmond filed a request asking for more information from the state agency that runs the program. Right now, five more sexually violent predators are up for potential placements in our county by the end of the year. Well, California leaders are hosting a meeting about extreme heat and the best way to handle the climate crisis moving forward. The symposium kicked off yesterday in Sacramento, but there's another event that's going on today. Some of the topics on the table include putting the situation that we're in now into perspective, namely the above average temperatures and longer heat waves. Climate scientists have been warning about it. They're also talking about grid reliability, which essentially means having a plan in place during blackouts. Well, Palomar College is breaking ground on a new sports complex today. It will include a 3,600 seat football stadium and a 207 seat softball stadium. When it opens up, the football team will finally be able to host games on campus after years of playing home games at high school fields. The facility will be placed between the main college entrance and Comet Circle. It's expected to be completed around October of next year. Sheena Parveen will have a look at your first alert weather forecast right after this. You want fast internet? You want gig speeds from Cox? A gig is 320-somethings on one network. One mines crypto to the moon and back. Another eats, sleeps, and breathes gaming, but doesn't actually sleep. And the third video calls his long-distance love 24-7. Like never ever hangs up, ever. That's a gig. Hi there, I'm NBC7 meteorologist Sheena Parveen. We're talking about the Padres versus Phillies tonight. Petco Park, 503 first pitch. If you're heading to the game, we'll be sunny and around 80 degrees by first pitch. So it's going to be warm today. Warmer than yesterday by about 10 degrees throughout the game, though. Clear skies dropping into the mid-70s by 7 p.m. So it's going to be a pretty nice evening to watch some baseball. Inland Valley will be around 90 today. Tomorrow's going to be the hottest day of the week. After that, we cool down heading into the weekend, and I'll be watching a rain chance for Sunday, Marion. Thanks, Sheena. Blink-182 coming home. The group formed here in San Diego, performing at Pachanga Arena June 19th and 20th. It's their first tour in 10 years. Tickets for the second show go on sale later this week. More coverage you count on NBC7.com. Thanks for being here. We'll see you soon.